Tutsa and I love reading books. Some of my favourite books are Totoro and the Dork Diaries. My favourite character is Totoro because he's really fat and cute and he blows people away. But today I'm hanging out with some book characters in real life. Let's go meet them. That looks like a good place to meet people. Hi, have you seen any book characters around? Yeah, we're the book characters. Uh, but you don't look like book characters. You're right, but how about now? Actually, actors with me cat productions. Our rock is so high, and we touch the sky. Meet Jammer and Joe. Or should I say, Sally and Sergio. They tour around Australia, turning books into plays. They can bring any character to life. So, Joel, how do you bring these books to life? We do a number of different things. So we use a lot of puppets, different characters, some music and dance. Do you want to meet some of the new puppets? Yes. Beautiful. Go get them out. So this one here is Stacy the Starfish. She is a diva and she loves being a diva on the rock here. <laughs> Oh, humans, you're so lovely. I love being adored. I'm so sparkly and decorative. I truly am fabulous. <laughs> These puppets are awesome. Who makes them? So the company we work for, Meerkat Productions, we have a very talented lady called Liz Best, and she's in charge of making all of our fabulous puppets, including our starring seagull, Percy here. So, she likes to use materials that you can find at Woolworths, Bunnings or Spotlight, so you could have a go on the weekend at trying to make one. So, as you can see, we use things that you can access. So, what do you think his neck is made out of? A spring. Good job. Now, what about his beak? You can see it's kind of hard. Um, uh, a funnel? How did you know? Because some of it's... Skinny and some of it's fat. <gasps> You're the second person who's ever guessed that on the first go. What about inside Percy's mouth? I'll give you a hint if I stretch it. Well done. And then we've got two holes in the back of his head. So I put my hands in here and then he can come to life. So, how do these characters fit into the story? So, the main character is Sally the Seal, who I get to play, and she lives on a big rock. Nobody notices that I sit on this rock all day. I never go out and get food for anyone else. I sit here and wait for them to bring it to me. And Percy? Ah, oh no. Percy. Sally, are you okay there in the water? What? Yes. Love it. I'm a seal. I'm supposed to be in the water. <laughs> well, actually, you're semi-aqueous, which means you spend a lot of time on this rock. And Stacy the starfish. I am remarkable. I'm special. I've got five limbs. And Sergio, who you'll meet a bit later, are some of the other characters who live on different rocks until a terrible storm happens and they have to leave their home and find a new place to live. There is a huge storm coming! Percy, we live on a safe high rock. No storm is going to be any danger to us. You're right, Sally. Yeah. On this big expanse of rock, we'll be safe. But they're saying some of the smaller rocks won't make it. And the seals who live on them will need to leave immediately if they are to be safe. You're right. <gasps> what if some of the other seals try and come here? And that's when Sally is faced with the 
the decision to include them or exclude them. And you'll have to wait and see what she ends up deciding. Our new rock will be loads of fun. Our new rock will be bathed in sun. Our new rock will be awesome. Lots is for everyone. So don't be scared, just be prepared and dive into the sea. Wow, guys, your show was brilliant. Aw, thank you. Much. Well, hey, I've got some ideas for a sequel. <gasps> Room on our rock part two? such a good idea. Let's go do it. I'm Calypso. I'm Gemma. And I'm Joel. And we have a story to tell. Bye.